pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Central Valley. It's Noah and Jenny here with your announcements for Friday, October 16th. Attention all NHS members, please check your email concerning the fall project about supporting our district food pantry. Also, sign up for St. Francis Caprini Food Bank. See Ms. Jones with any questions. This is a mandatory project. Every Tuesday, there's a Peace Club meeting in Mrs. Zillian's room, North B. 113 during academic study hall. Any student participating in intramural bowling at Center Lanes should ride bus 29. It will be located with the other buses. On Wednesday, November 4th, from 5.45 to 9.15, St. Francis Cabrini Parish is sponsoring a free workshop for young women in high school and college to raise awareness about safety concerns. Attending this event will help you build your confidence and gain knowledge about safety in the community. Come out and see its nice festivities. Homecoming starts at 6.15 and the game starts at 7. Well, that's all for your announcement, CV. Have a classic day. CV, it's Connor Alexis here with your sports. On Wednesday, the boys' soccer team won 2-0 against the Hopewell Vikings. Zach Petty and Jack Shear both scored one goal. Girls' soccer team also won against Hopewell on Wednesday, 1-0. Allie Delestrino scored to give us the game. The football team will take on Chartier's Valley tonight. Tonight's theme will be jerseys. That's, well, that's all for your sports TV. Have a great day. Hey, what's up, CV? I'm Zach. We've got Maurice and Tyler. We're bringing back college game day. But this week, we're going to uh, change things up a little bit. We've got high school, college, and pro football coming at you. So let's kick it off. Uh, tonight, we've got Central Valley taking on Chartier's Valley at Sarge Albert Stadium. I've got two Central Valley football players. Obviously, we know who's going to win that one, right? Yeah, no, we're coming out with the dub. Yeah, you heard it right here. All right, West Allegheny versus Woodland Hills, keeping it in the uh, whip Uh Honestly, I hope West Day wins because then it shows our conference is tough, and then we go down week nine, beat them at home. Definitely West Day. I want them to win. West Day. All right, let's take, take it to Saturday. We've got college. we got Pitt taking on Georgia Tech, 1230. Pitt Panthers. <laughs> we're all Pitt fans here. Except for me. I'm Penn State, <laughs> as you can see. All right, number 10 Alabama going to Texas A&M for a big SEC showdown, 3.30 on CBS. That's going to be a big game for Alabama. I mean, if they win that, that can move them up in the rankings. So I, I kind of hope Alabama wins, and I think they'll come up with a win. I don't think they're going to win. I think Texas A&M, I think – I just – I don't think Should Alabama's – it's, it's not their year this year. Not their year. All right, taking it to the Big Ten Conference, we've got Michigan State, number seven ranked, uh, taking on the Michigan Wolverines, number 12. So it's uh, – Interstate rivalry, obviously Big Ten, maybe even uh, college playoff implications on the yeah. line here. What's going, to go on, going on with that ESPN at 3.30? Well, Michigan has been playing really good, and Michigan State has not been playing good at all. But, you know, I think Michigan State's going to pull through and get the win. Wrong, Reese. I'm telling you, Michigan's going to come out with the win. Coach Harbaugh, it, it's, they're going to do it. All right, now prime time. My Penn State Nittany Lions taking on the number one ranked Ohio State Buckeyes, 8 p.m. on ABC. It's going to be a blackout for the Buckeyes, but is it going to be coming out with pretty and white? Sorry, Zach, but uh, Penn State has no chance. <laughs> None. None. All right, let's take it to the pros now. We've got the Steelers taking on the Cardinals at 1 o'clock. Taking the Steelers? Yeah, I mean, the Cardinals have been playing real good, but Mike Vick has he stepped up last game big time in the fourth quarter. And got the win. And Le'Veon Bell being back, I mean, I don't see the Steelers losing. And then, Tyrone, what do you think? Uh, Le'Veon Bell has to rush for over 100 because the Cardinals' secondary is too good. All right, sounds good. Well, we'll be back with you next week with another segment with Game Day. Take it easy. What's happening, Central Valley? It's Garrett and Luke here with your favorite segment, the SAT Word of the Week. I mean, I've been very anxious to learn the word of the week, buddy. Can you please educate me today? That's what I'm here for, amigo. Let's get right to it. The SAT word of the week is kerfuffle. Oh, kerfuffle? I've never heard of that word. Well, the definition of a kerfuffle is a commotion or fuss, especially one caused by conflicting views. Wow, my head is spinning right now. May you please spell it for me? So yes, sir. K E R F U F F L E. 
Still not getting it. May you please create a sentence from my knowledge? Of course. On Friday, there was a huge kerfuffle involving Central Valley and Newcastle. <laughs> that sentence was just so perfect. It's making me tear up a little bit. I'm sorry, buddy. At least you understand it now. Well, that wraps it up, Central Valley. Until next week, have a classic day.